Hey, hey! <laughs> Hi, I'm Carly Myers, um, and I am the founder of Work You Love. Um, for those of you who already know me, hey, how are you? Um, I just wanted to jump on here really quickly today to talk about two things. Um, the first thing is getting to the root of procrastination, and the second thing is a special announcement. So I'm really excited about that. So, you know, just when we're thinking about procrastination, like what, why haven't I done this? I know I need to do it. I, why do I keep avoiding it? Ah, you know, and then it's like a week later and you haven't done the one thing that you know is the most important thing to do. Why don't we just do it? Like Shia LaBeouf style, just do it. You know, why don't we do it? The reality is, is because of a myriad of reasons probably, um, but one of those really key reasons, one of the really key reasons that, uh, that are preventing us from moving forward is that we don't actually know our why. So when we think about this task, how does this task correlate or relate to my why? Or why is this task, in other words, why is this task so important? Mel Robbins, um, who is a prominent coach who helps people get their lives together and move forward, she has developed, you know, she's the founder of the five second rule, which I know you guys have heard of from me, by me, probably from outside of me. Um, and she, you know, based on research by Harvard, by all of these different uh, big universities, has established that the reason that we don't do things is because we don't have our why we need to do them. Aside from the whys that our parents give us, that our bosses give us, that society gives us. So I challenge you to, next time you're avoiding something, maybe even before you avoid it, say, write down that one thing that you want to accomplish. What is today's main project that you want to work on? And what are three reasons why that project is important to you? And I guarantee you, you'll find yourself moving forward on that project so much more than you would have if you hadn't have written those three things as to why they're important to you. Another key thing to think about when we're talking about procrastination, I was just talking to a client uh, like earlier this morning about this, is you know one of the key things when we're talking about procrastination is our why, but beyond our why, like what creates our why? And what creates our why is this thing that I always talk about. It's this core desired feeling. So how can we, you know, first of all, create, what is our core desired feeling? What is the umbrella feeling that we want to feel day in and day out? And, um, you know, underneath that umbrella, you have all the other little feelings and nuances that are feelings. Um, and how does that core desired feeling affect our why? So I just had a, a client this morning who uh, her core desire feeling is amazing. It's um, transcendental. Um, so this feeling doesn't have to make sense to anyone else aside from you. Like my core desire feeling is expansiveness. Hers is transcendental. And for her, that meant that her why was that she had to work on herself so that she could transcend, so that she could become a bigger asset to society, so that she could make a bigger difference through her writing. And so when we're talking about getting to the root of procrastination, for her, just writing every day wasn't enough. Knowing that getting into flow or that she would finish a novel wasn't enough. For her, it was, I have to do this writing for myself. I have to journal every single day so that I can get into flow, so that I can transcend so that I can understand myself so that there's something to transcend from. Um, and so for her, that helped her core desire feeling helped her create her why, which was super important for her to move forward on her goals. Um, so I hope that was helpful in terms of procrastination. I really recommend that you write that project out and the three reasons why it's important to you. And if um, that's not enough, really think about your core desire feeling. Um, and here's a special announcement. I'm really, really excited about it. Is that back by popular demand, I'm going to be doing another free online training. Yes. Um, so this has just hit my planning board. Um, I guess not really. It's been on my planning board for a while, but I'm just finally telling you about it. The free online training is called How to Cope with a Toxic Work Environment and Get Out. Put that in parentheses there. So how to cope with the toxic work environment and get out. 
going to be April 20th. I believe it's at 1 p.m. Now that I'm on here, I'm not so sure. Let me go back. Let me look at my calendar and make sure I have the time right. Yes, April 20th at 1 p.m., my free online training, How to Cope with a Toxic Work Environment and Get Out. Um, links to come soon. Just be sure to mark your calendars for August 20th at 1 p.m. for that free online training, and I will keep you guys in the loop. All right, I will see you soon, and happy Thursday.